parabola using rectangular method. I'm going to show you in this video how to construct a parabola using rectangular method. Draw a parabola with its axis vertical in a rectangle 120mm high by 100mm wide. This is the given side of the rectangle 120 by 100 mm before i proceed into the construction can you please press on the red button and subscribe to my channel thank you so the first thing you need to do is to draw the rectangle which is 120 the rectangle is 120 by 100 120 by 100 mm so you have 100 mm here which is 10, which is equivalent to 10 centimeters, you have it to your left hand and to your right. Then you have 120, which is the length of the rectangle above and below. So the next thing is to divide the rectangle into two halves. Now I have the rectangle, which is 120 mm. This is my rectangle. The width is 120 mm. Then I will divide it. I'll place it at 0.6 to divide the rectangle into two equal halves and name it point O. After that, I will divide each half into four equal parts. I will divide each side into, into equal parts, preferably four. I can decide to divide this place into five. If I'm dividing this place into five, I will also divide the horizontal side into five. Same thing if I'm dividing the vertical side into four places. I will also divide the horizontal side into four places. Under no condition should you divide the vertical side into five and the horizontal side into four. Make sure they are of equal divisions. So now this is 120. So I have 60 as the first half and I'm going to divide it into 15 by 15 so the first side is 15 the second side is on 3 which is 30 mm 45 and 60. then the vertical side i will divide into 25 plus 25 that gives me 15 plus 25 that gives me 75 plus 25 that is 100. the same thing i did other side i will also do it on the other side so i will divide one two three four then I also divide the top part into the same number of equal side. So I will number each division. I will number each division as follows. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I will repeat it on the right-hand side. 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then from here, I'll proceed to 1, 2, 3, 4. From 0 to 1, 2, Three, four. The next thing is to draw vertical lines on each of the divisions, the divisions on the horizontal line. So I have these divisions one, two, three, four has been drawn, three, two, one. So I will draw vertical lines on each of the division. I'll take it up. I'll go to two, take it up, go to three. Take it up, then I'll go to the other side. I'll repeat the same procedure by drawing the vertical lines. After this, I'll draw inclined line is or a slant line from O to each of the division on the vertical side. I'll do it on my left side. I'll also do it on my right side. So let's go from O, pick up your pencil. From O, you draw a line to division one. Same thing to division two. From O to division three. And division four is already here. So I'll repeat it on the other side to division three, division two, 
and division one. The last type, last point is, I'll take it to division zero, which is our starting point. This is division two. Okay. After that, I will connect the point of intersection together. Now, I will start from one. I will trace it up to the point where one on the horizontal line is meeting one on the vertical line. So start tracing from one, take it up. When you get to the point where they intersect, you are steric. You go to two, division two, you take it up to intersect with two, you are steric. Trace division three, take it up, asteric. This is point O, you are asteric. I'll go to one, are we asteric? I'll trace two. I'll go to point three, trace it up to where three is meeting. Okay, the next thing, since we have gotten the points of intersections. The next thing is just to connect all the points together and that gives you the required parabola. Thank you.